Okay, now let's talk about some Apple intelligence features, which if I'm gonna be honest, are a little bit underwhelming, but we're gonna talk about them nonetheless because you might find them interesting. So the first thing is to make sure that Apple intelligence is turned on. So you can go into Apple intelligence and Siri and then go ahead and turn it on. Now, ChatGPT is of course a big extension. So if you can go in there, you can enable it. You can sign in if you want to, but you actually don't have to. And then you can have the app if you want, but again, you don't have to. I like having the app and I typically do have it signed in. I just haven't yet on this device. Now, as I mentioned before, if you hold the power button, this will activate Siri. But now there's also a new way of doing it by double tapping the bar at the bottom. And this will actually allow you to type something in Siri. Maybe if you're in public or you just want to get something more specific, you could say set alarm for five minutes. And I'll send it in and we have a five minute timer going. Now, another cool thing you can do is hold Siri and actually ask ChatGPT to analyze your page. So say you have an image like I do here. What is on this page? And it's going to ask me if I want to send this to ChatGPT and upload the screenshot. I'm going to say, yes, send this to ChatGPT. And here you can see it correctly identifies this as a Joshua tree. Now, writing tools, but you can see this little icon up here. It kind of looks like an atom or a nucleus or something like that it is one of the prevalent features of Apple intelligence. And you can pretty much tap that and use it no matter what application you're in. If you're searching for something in YouTube or you're in the notes app or mail or messages, pretty much anywhere that you can type or highlight text, you can use writing tools. So one thing you can do is compose, which will use ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an essay about the history of the light bulb. And I'll click send. And here you see we now have a little essay of the history of the light bulb. Now from there, I can do a few things. So one thing I can actually do is add to playground. So this is Apple's kind of funky new image creation AI. So this is going to take some keywords from this document and come up with a unique AI image. And I'm going to say, yeah, so you can see a few options here. I like this one. I'm going to click done. And then this is going to add a fun little image to my document. Now I'm going to go back up to writing tools and I want it to be rewritten in a funny way. Rewrite this with a comedic tone. I'll send this. It's going to take a second and it's going to try to do a funny tone. Ah, the light bulb, that magical orb that finally lets us see what we were doing in the dark. Now you can see some weird things such as these font sizes don't match and there's just some funkiness in this, but you can see that that feature is there nonetheless. Now let's do it again. Let's do Summary. It's going to make a summary of this whole document. Okay, here we go. We can copy it. We can replace all of this with the summary or we can share it. Or you could have it just list the key points, turn all of this into a list, or if it had the proper data, you could turn it into a table. You also have the ability to quickly proofread it for any errors and then rewrite it as friendly, professional, or just make it more concise while keeping the same tone. So you can see those basic features and how that might be useful for you, or maybe it won't be useful just depending on who you are. Now, as I mentioned, you can do this pretty much anywhere that there is text. So say I highlight this text here, I'll go to writing tools, and then I'll do summary, but I can also just make a little table. So let's just see what this does with a table. And you can see it's made a little table with the feature, and then the description. So this kind of works. You can see that this is basically a table of the new features of the iPad based off Apple's data. Now, another cool feature of the iPad is the ability to copy the subject in images. So say I tap and hold on this, I can click copy subject. Let's just go back to that note that we are working on and we'll scroll to the bottom and I can paste that there without the background. As you can see, it's imperfect. This is kind of a choppy image to begin with, but if you get a better image, you can copy the subject and just paste it without the background, which is pretty handy. Also notes is the ability to attach just a whole lot of things. You can scan text and then have it paste right in. You can scan documents and put full pages there. You can just add photos and videos straight into the document. You can do the image playground that we showed before, which allows you to just generate images. And now there's a really nice record audio function. And the nice feature about this is that voice memos now has a variety of tools, including transcription, which allows you to search through your voice memos, which is really great for business meetings, for lectures, brainstorming, voiceovers, interviews, stuff like that. 
So if I go into voice memos, you can see here I have a voiceover I recorded a couple years ago. Now, if I go into it and I click the transcript button, and I click the transcript button, we have the entire transcript that I can search through, which is just super handy. And that's a really nice feature. And that now integrates right into your notes and kind of swipe down and you can see this is a live recording going on as we're doing this. So that's just a really handy feature. You can pause and resume. This is still pretty different than something like Notability that actually will allow you to retrace your handwriting based off of the voice memo, but it's nice.